hey guys, uh, today I'm going to introduce to you an app which I can see the best apps for architectural students. So uh, for those of you who are an architectural student, a lecturer, or if you work in an architectural field, or even if you're not, but let's say you want to uh, redecorate your room, but you don't have the best tools to reinvent your ideas, so I can see that this is the best apps for you. Okay, so the apps are called Magic Plan. So what is Magic Plan? Magic Plan are basically uh, an app that use AR, which is augmented reality, uh, that lets you survey and draw an accurate plan of build structures. So basically, it uses your camera to scan the room that you want, uh, and it basically can have measurement without using measuring tape. So I think it's very useful. So basically, you can do a lot with it. You can add furniture after you've done your, your room. You can view it with PDF viewer. You can view it in 3D view. And there's a lot more stuff you can do with it. And if you want to know more, you can check out their website, which is www.magicplan.com. So today, I'll try my best uh, to show you how to use this app step by step and try to give my honest review of this app. So I have myself a measuring tape so we can compare its accuracy. So to get the apps, you go to the app store and then search Magic Plan. So I already, which is this, so I already have it. So I basically just opened it. Okay, so after you download it, you click on the apps, make your plan. And then you click on this big plus, new project, and then this plus, and then you click scan with camera. And then you click on uh, the rooms that you want, which is, I click on living room because I'm standing on a living room. And then you let your phone move around a bit so that you can scan the... And then it says ready to go, so you go to a corner. This. device up and tap on the screen to set the room height which is you go up here like this to set the room height and then done so there you have it your plan okay so here's the plan that i've made using these apps so it, I can quite see that the accuracy is quite accurate, but if you don't like it, you can always change it here. Like for example, you can also change the uh, unit, which is feet or inches. And here it says the height of the ceilings is 2.32, but I, can, I want to change it to 3, so I just type 3.00 here. Okay, so after you're done, you can also change the measurement of your wall, like for example this wall, you can change it here, you can type it here, or you can also push and pull it like here. And if you don't want it, you can undo it, and you can also change your corner like this, okay. Then you can also add furniture in your room. Like for example, here I'm trying to add a sofa in this room. I add this uh, three panel sofa. I can change, rotate it how I want it. This, uh, the green indicates 90 degrees, so that, that is quite handy. Just put it uh, where it was. I, I am basically trying to recreate my living room here in this plan. So you can resize it how you like it as well. So I'm going to add more furniture like this furniture. Like this armchair so far. 
um, the same thing rotate it how I want it and then I add a door here and then I can rotate its openings and then I'll add a coffee table around coffee table here okay then I want to add uh, openings here because I have an opening uh, in my living room I basically go to doors and choose opening and I go through there and I resize it how I want it like this and then I, I have a sliding door here so I go to doors again and choose sliding door I put it here so I am done so basically this is my living room that I have recreated using this app okay so there you have it guys my step by step on how to use this app it's pretty simple right uh, well basically it's like CAD or SketchUp you probably have to have a few minutes to get used to it and then I'll guarantee you after this you will be pro using this app so for uh, the app says that it guarantees you 30 seconds to recreate a room and around 5 minutes to recreate a whole floor. Okay, so personally, uh, I can say that I love this app. I find this app very useful and it's easy to use, very fast to use and I can use it to develop my proportionate skill as all the lecturers in my college always push me to design things in a proportionate way so I find this app very useful and for me to like you know develop my skill my interior skill to design a space and everything so I so basically I like these apps okay on the bad note I probably would say that you have to have the latest the latest phone to run this app because if you have a, a not up to date iOS or something, it probably won't run that smoothly and it probably would make your phones a bit lag or, or something. So I guess that's all. So thank you for watching until we meet again.